Hey, what up, what up, y'all? I am finally on film, film, film. Kinda sorta in a way. But anyway, let's get down to it. This video is my um, army Q&A because a lot of people had questions. So I asked through Snapchat, I asked through Facebook, and I think that's it, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, this is for my girl Karen. Hey, boo, hey. Uh, sh um, she sent me some questions and a lot of other Snapchappers, snap, Snapchappers. It's been a while, y'all. Snapchatters. There we go. Okay, so they sent me some questions. So, oh, and I wanted to show y'all my case right quick. Ta -ta. That is my cute little case. There's my phone. So, anyway, let me just get the questions. And basically, this is um, just questions that people ask about the military because I don't know if y'all know or not. If y'all new to my channel, welcome. Hey, boo, hey. Um, if y'all old, y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know we up popping up in here. But um, yeah, this is pretty much answers to the questions that people had asked me about being in the military. I've been in the military for two years. I, I'll explain why it's been so short. But um, yeah, so. I was in the army for two years, 2008 and through 2010. Okay. So the first question. Oh, my phone about to die. So long. Okay. Okay. So the first question was, what were you doing before the military, and why did you stop? Okay. Before the military, I think I was about 20, 19 or 20 years old, and I think I was in I was in college. Yes. I was in college. College ain't for everybody, but try to go to school, okay? Need that education. Um, but I was in college. I was studying science because I wanted to go for nursing. So I was in college. College wasn't for me. I got a story time for that because a bitch tried to beat my ass in the bathroom. Well, she didn't try. She beat my ass in the bathroom, okay? I got my ass whooped. But anyway, um, basically, I couldn't afford it no more. So I was like, okay, look, I don't even like school like that, whatever. So you know what? I'm about to join the army, and they're about to pay it for me. So, um, that's what I was doing before the military, and I stopped, as I said, because I couldn't afford it, and a bitch got her ass beat in the bathroom. So, second question. What, what, no, that wasn't the second question. What was the process you had to do before joining? Okay, so before joining, before joining, um, you have to go to the recruiting office, and then the recruiter will help sign you up. Then you go to... Some, I don't know what it was. It was some sort of building I went to. I had to stay in a hotel for like two nights because I was in South Carolina going to school. And then we had to drive all the way to Florida so I could sign up. Weird, I know, but my recruiter was like, look, Florida's the best spot for you to sign up. Uh, I don't really like it down in South Carolina, so I'm gonna take you to Florida. So bam, boom, we in the car, we driving to Florida. I stayed in the hotel. And during, those, during the daytimes, we was in some sort of building. I forgot what it is called, my bad. But we was inside of the building and basically you took a test the test is called the ASVAB okay I don't know what it stands for I'm sorry it's been a while but I took an ASVAB test um got all my information got all my shots they got um I got to pick my job after I took the test which I did horribly but I got to um take the test pick my job and I had to swear in and I had to get a uh, medical waiver because they thought a bitch was crazy which I was I was crazy but I had to get a psychology uh, psychiatric um, waiver and a medical waiver because I had shaky hands okay okay next question uh, how long did it take you to join it took me first it took me a whole it took me a whole week a whole two weeks actually because the first week we went down there they said that I need a medical waiver and I didn't have my transcript from college so I had to go back get my transcript from college and then we drove back that way and after that it only took about two three days signed up and like two weeks later uh, or a month later I was getting sent to South Carolina to join to be in the army okay um, how did you do on the ASVAB horribly let me tell y'all the ASVAB was 
super, super hard. So if y'all want a good job, I mean a good, good job, not like scrubbing dishes or serving food, no harm to those who did do it, much respect for y'all, but I would like study up on it before trying to take the ass bath. I was that type of bitch. I was like, look, I had a long, it was a long day. We've been sitting down in this, this whole room, this whole building all day. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. I'm just about to A, B, C, C, B, D, whatever. All the above, nigga, all the above. So I did horribly, so yeah. Um, What was your rank when you first joined? My rank was a PFC, ooh, excuse me. And you will not always get into being that class because I got that class because I had college credits that was able to transfer over into the military. I don't know, I don't know. But my credits that I had transfer over, which I should have done, was finish college, then join the military. That way I could have been an officer or some shit like that and not no PFC. A PFC is a, um, pers a private first class. If you don't have any college credits, then you will be a private, okay? A E1, I was an E3, okay? Where were you first stationed and did you like it? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, the first duty station I had was in Hawaii. Yes, it was in Hawaii. Aloha. Aloha. And aloha to all my Hawaiians out there. Um, I loved it. Would I go back? Hell, yes, yes. Double time, yes. Uh, Hawaii was popping. The beaches was popping. The dudes, not so much. So, but it was popping. Okay. Um. And I was that was just lucky. I got to um. They gave you a, a sheet of paper. You got to write down places that you wanted to go. I had like fucking dummy. I had Fort Drum and some other place. I had Germany. I had Spain. I had um Hawaii. And I got I got picked to go to motherfucking Hawaii. So I went to Hawaii. Um. And I stayed there for about five five years. Um, did you go on deployment? No, I did not go on deployment and I will tell you why, okay? I was pregnant at the time. I had got knocked up by who is now my husband. I got knocked up by him and by the time I found out I was pregnant, everybody was getting ready to go to Afghanistan. Yeah, it was Afghanistan at the time. Everybody was already packing up, getting ready to go to Afghanistan. They was about to send no pregnant bitch to fucking Afghanistan. So they told me to stay there. So after I stayed there, um, I had gave birth to my daughter. Then they was like, okay, um, after you give birth to your daughter, you're going to have to send her somewhere so somebody can watch her because we have to send you to Afghanistan. I was like, no, that's not going to happen. I'm not giving my firstborn, my newborn to nobody. Not my mama, not my daddy, not my cousins, not my aunts, and nephews, nobody like that. It was my firstborn, so I was like, no. And they were going to send my husband to Afghanistan the same time. So I was like, who the hell is going to watch my kids? Who? Was you gonna watch my kid? No? Okay. So I was like, no, is there anything else I could do because I'm not going. So uh, my sergeant at the time, love her by the way, she was like, well you could just, you know, get out on a pregnancy discharge um, or family hardship since, a family hardship since you don't have anybody to watch your child, you could um, get out on a pregnancy. So I was like, okay, bam, boom, that's what I'm about to do because ain't nobody gonna watch my kid but me. So that is why I did not go on deployment. Then come to find out, they was going to fucking deploy me anyway. Even after I had my child, they was going to deploy me. They was going to just sit my ass on the damn island until everybody got back. And I was like, well, if I knew that, I would have stayed in the military. Like, why you mean tell me? Why? Why didn't you tell me? But, yeah. So that was that. Uh, the next question was, how was being away from family? Fucking wonderful. It was, it was marvelous. It was, it was. It was. If y'all know who y'all family is, if y'all got that dysfunctional family, then y'all already know. Y'all know what it is, okay? I have a dysfunctional family. We do not get along, so I was fine not being with my family. As I said, I don't trust. I didn't trust them at the time to watch my kids. So, well, my child at the time. So, it was wonderful. It was a vacation. How was basic training for you? Okay. Let me get y'all. I'm going to tell y'all this. Okay. Basic training is hard. 
It ain't hard. It's hoard. Okay? If you're not ready physically, if you're not ready mentally, you're not going to make it. Okay? They will recycle you and you will start all over again. So you just have to be mentally prepared for people to yell in your face. You have to be mentally prepared for people to be spitting in your face. Like, not like like you know disgusting like bad girls club type spitting in your face i'm talking about like you know how people talk and they all just spitting in your face like that you're gonna have them cursing at you uh just talking a whole bunch of shit because they know that you ain't about to do nothing because you ain't about that life okay so um well you might be about that life but you'll get kicked out okay so uh basic training was hard i had to face my fear which one of my fears is being afraid of heights. I had to climb a wall. I had to rappel down a wall. I had to. I had to. I had to do a so much. I had to shoot a gun, and I haven't. I haven't. I haven't seen a gun in a while. I haven't shot a gun, but being there, you will learn how to shoot a gun. You will learn how to dis dis um member the gun and put it back together. You learn how to aim, breathe steady. You learn how to climb shit that you ain't never climbed or never thought about climbing before. Um, you'll make good friends though, I'll tell you that much. Um, how long was basic training for you? Basic training, I think it was 12 weeks. I think so. 12 long weeks, was it? Probably, like 12, it was, I'll say about 12 weeks. And, and for basic, I went to Relax in Jackson, if y'all don't know what that is. It's in Fort Jackson, South Carolina. That is where I went. That is where I graduated from basic training. Then after that, I went to... Where did I go? It was another place in South Carolina. Fort... I don't know. It was AIT. If y'all know, put it down below in the comment box, because I would like to know. It was somewhere else in South Carolina. Um for 92 alphas. I was a 92 alpha. I don't know if I said that already. Uh, oh, the next question is, where were you in AIT and did you like it? Okay, so let me let me tell y'all. AIT is like going to school, because that's all you're doing. You're going to school. You're going to school, you're going to learn your job, okay? The reason why they're going to be paying you. You learn whatever your job is, if it's, if it's washing clothes, serving food, um, radios, uh, paperwork that's that's what it's for okay AIT is basically school uh, it was like high school kind of because it was a lot of drama but you do get free times on the weekend we could go about your business but it's only for the weekend okay you coming back okay you're not going nowhere you coming back and they gave you um, they was like giving you sometimes they get they gave me passes like weekend passes I could stay in the hotel for the weekend um, what else? You know, you got to go shopping to the mall and stuff. But let me tell y'all, AIT, don't do what I did. Because this is what I did, okay? When I went to AIT, a bitch was balling. Because you wasn't allowed to spend no type of coin, no, no, no shmoney. You wasn't, you wasn't allowed to touch it, okay? So, basically, you stacking up money as you getting your mental breakdown and your physical breakdown, okay? Um. So, while I was in AIT... I was like, oh, yeah, oh, it's about the 40, what? I was like, I was, there was, there was a place called r and &R, which is like the club, rest and relax, I guess it's called. Um, it was basically like a club you, that everybody went to on the weekends. Um, you got to, you got to drink, you got to dance, listen to music. Um, if you smoked, you, not, not weed. We, we, they don't do that shit. They don't, no weed. Um. But you got to, you know, just do regular weekend shit like you would do on a weekend, not smoke weed. But, um, yeah. So, with that being said, don't spend all your money, okay? Because I spent most of my money. All that money I made in basic training, I was like, bitch about to spend, bitch is balling, I'm about to, what? Okay? So, yeah. Um, be careful with spending your money when you're in AIT. It's easy as shit. To go and spend your money after you had like 12 weeks of mental training and physical training and, and you got all this money in the bank okay so just be careful with that okay and I think this is the last question did you like living in the barracks um I basically I didn't have no problems in the ba in basic in basic training because we was all like one two three four five six seven it's like eight to a room well in mine it was eight to a room in basic training 
Um, I, no, I was cool as shit with everybody. Um, in AIT, no, I didn't have no problems living with anybody. And when I got stationed in Hawaii, no, because after that you had like two tour rooms. In my case, I had three tour rooms, so it was me and two other girls. I was cool as shit with them. Um, matter of fact, I had met them in AIT, so it's like they came with me and we was like cool and everybody was cool. So I basically, I barely even saw them besides work and you know going to bed at night or PT. For y'all who don't know who PT, what PT is, it's physical training. That means you work you exercising. So we would wake up at like, we'll be there at five o'clock and we'd be working out until like seven o'clock, okay? And after seven o'clock, you, you get your breakfast, you wash your ass and you go to work. Work is like from eight to five. Whatever you learned at AIT, that's your job. That's what you're supposed to be doing from eight to five. It's your job, okay? And the military is a 24 seven job. So don't let them think, okay, eight to five, bam, boom. That's what's up. No, because if they say come on to work, your ass better be there. Um, so yeah, and then as usual, you have the weekends off. You got to do whatever you want. Some, you could take leave, but you, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of paperwork for you to go take leave in case you want to go home or something like that. And then they also had like Red Cross, like if an emergency happened, your family member would send a Red Cross message and basically you they'll send you home for whatever the emergency is. But if you want like leave, leave, like just to like go on vacation or something like that, you would have to put in paperwork for that. So, and that usually take a while because niggas be acting like they don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I was, to answer um, somebody else's question, they asked me what was I in the military. In the military, I was a 92 Alpha. A 92 Alpha is a logistics specialist. So basically, I was working in the warehouse. I was doing inventory on supplies that um, other companies, platoons, order. And I would do inventory on them and I would put it in their, um, in their basket. And then when they come and pick it up, I'll you know do the paperwork and make sure they know that it got picked up if they order something i'll order the, the supply and send the paperwork off and then the truck will come and drop it off so that was basically and i had to drive a forklift yeah so um and then you also do other training while you're at your duty station you will go like to a thing called NTC I forgot what NTC stands for but basically when I went to uh, when my husband went to NTC and PTA I think it was on the big island of Hawaii or Maui one of the two and you just train you learn how to shoot you you shoot your gun you take tests on shooting your gun you get scored on that if you don't do right you'll do it again um, you do uh, like training exercises like as if you were in Iraq or Afghanistan. You do training exercises like that. Um, you do, um, I know in basic, we did nighttime training one time where we went in the field, we stayed for like a week. No showers, bitch, no showers, okay? We had bird bath, like my canteen, which is the thing you hold water in, we was washing with that. And it was one time out of that week where they sent us back to the barracks to wash our ass, okay? So, um, we had that nighttime training, which was live fire. They shooting rounds on top of your head, and you crawling in the mud, you crawling in the dirt under some barbed wire. And it was a whole, I'm telling y'all, it is a whole mental process. If you think you got mental down, you will soon find out as soon as you hop off that bus and get to your duty, your, um, your basic training station, how mental you think you really are okay so I hope I answered y'all questions if not y'all can email me down below you can message me um on my Facebook if y'all are part of my group which is YouTube hashtag YouTube love then y'all can send me messages from there uh, my email is in the description box down below but in my snapchat is also down below any social media y'all can get a hold of me I'm there 24 7 um, so if y'all have any other questions about basic training, AIT, my duty station, my job in the military, why I got out the military, y'all want to know the college story time or when I got my ass beat in the shower, in the kitchen, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, let a sister know, okay? I'm about to get back to doing these videos, especially with this makeup. I do still have my hair tutorial coming up because look, look, I done took my crochets out. I'm about to put some more in. Somebody wants to see that, so I'm getting that done as soon as possible. So, 
I hope I helped you out, Karen, and anybody else who sent me the questions. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. But back to going to being a mommy. So I will holler at y'all at your next video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Join my YouTube group, which is YouTube, hashtag YouTube love. And I'll be sure to see y'all guys in my next video. Holla. The wall part. Look, babe, they got, they got, uh, no, those are probably the nasty ones, you think? No.